Oh, welcome to another video. This one's an electronic one and um, not a Land Rover one, unfortunately. Now, I've been playing with Arduinos and trying to get this uh, LCD screen to work with an Arduino with limited success. At one point, I connected um, <laughs> ground and 5 volt to two grounds on here and it blew up the little voltage regulator on here. Which, let me find a pointer. The voltage regulator here is this AMS 1117. Uh, 5 volt regulator just a linear regulator nothing fancy I was about to go and order some and then I realized I had um, a bunch of these little uh, voltage regulator chips uh, already built and uh, they have exactly the same chip but yes it is it may be difficult to see and these little laser bits are sometimes hard to see unless they're in the right light but AMS 117 5 volt so let's get the heat gun out and uh, do the switcheroo Alright, uh, first thing we're going to do is apply a little bit of solder paste, of which I need more of this. I am pretty much in desperate dire supply of this stuff. Uh, that's a bit of flux paste. That will help, um, it's basically an acid that will help um, deoxidize the solder. And then we have over here some solder paste, which is lead free, um, that will help get it off. Alright, we are going to fire up our solder station but instead of doing that we're going to go rework station here and uh, we're going to get our heat gun nice and hot likewise for the other chip just a little bit of flux paste I'll go and pick up some more of this in the morning we have a guest over at the moment and he's making the financial manager laugh so you may hear her in the background but happy wife happy life we might be able to just plonk this straight back over here and I just lifted this over and plonked it straight back on here. It may be that we don't need fresh solder paste. It might just go back in okay as is. We will see. Feels like that's gone in fairly solidly. We'll see if the board powers up. We'll let it cool down of course. Now while we're waiting for things to cool down, we'll zoom in just a little bit here and um, isn't this the cutest, tiniest little LED you've ever seen? That is absolutely, positively tiny. Here's my finger here. Uh, I think I have a little ruler somewhere that will give me an idea of what size that actually is. Let's have a look at the sizes compared to that here. So, this might be MicroMelf. It might be smaller, it might be SC79. Um, or if we move up here, we it looks like we might be the 0402s. That is absolutely tiny because we're about that width there. Tiny stuff. Just keeps getting smaller. Okay, heat gun is cooling off. Sitting over the side there near the air conditioner. Let's have a look down here. Oh, by the way, new little addition here in the background is channel supporters. So in other words, like channel members or people that have been valuable to the channel uh, they get their names in the background now this cycles through every few seconds they'll cycle through different names like Tinkerman Mick we have um, I think a David Delaney's our recent addition on here and um, uh, Fat Ninja also known as Alan um, one of the more prominent members but uh, you'll see some of that in the background here so um, let's get back on with this okay so we attached 12 volts to this and we can see um, ChatGPT probably didn't quite write the code right, or I've not wired something correct, or a combination of both. But this LCD screen could potentially function on here. Um, but yes, it looks like it's all powering off that regulator. It's working quite well, although that regulator is insanely hot. Wow, that burnt my fingers. Um, so it might be that that's voltage drop out because that regulator is working too hard for that. I'm going to go run my fingers under cold water. Alright, we're going to hit this with a little bit of circuit board cleaner to get rid of the flux off that. And, uh, yep, our chip is nice and cool now. Okay, so one of my problems with that display might be that the um, it's pulling too much power for one of these. Let's do a quick look up and find out what the current rating of this is. Let's um, bypass the 5 volt side of it. We'll give it off a powered USB hub. See if that works any better. No, still a code issue, I think. Doesn't matter. A couple of days. Anyway, 
So this is a good little video to show you how to change this little voltage regulator on an Arduino. And um, we'll be back again with another video. Hope it was fun.